Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to City Skylines. Now, in the last episode, I added some details to our new pedestrian area, increasing the cargo capacity of the service points, and also just adding more commercial buildings around the unique landmarks, but making sure they weren't too big, trying to keep it to a kind of a realistic level. Now, I also started a redevelopment of the financial district, upgrading the stock market, building a skyscraper bank, and adding two new large conference hotels which I've Frankensteined into a new hybrid hotel, complete with nearby gym facilities, some plazas, and some new commercial and corporate opportunities. Now today, I plan to build out the pedestrian area a little bit further, adding several new residential zones with their own education facilities, some parks, some transport, and even if we can manage, maybe another hotel or two. Let's begin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the hustle and bustle of downtown inner city swords. Today, we're going to get straight into the gameplay by continuing right where we left off at the end of the previous episode, which is to say that we're going to be expanding out our pedestrian area to cover this entire blank canvas in front of me, this clay, this putty that is in my hand ready to be molded. <laughs> And uh, what we're going to be doing by that is, like I said, expanding this pedestrian area all the way out to fill this area. Instead of building its own one, we're expanding because we, of course, have these two large service points here. So one's a, technically a large cargo service point, the other's a small one. But these two combined provides far more trucks than we actually need to supply the current pedestrian area. So we're going to use this supply depot to basically supply both but have separate districts, so they'll technically be different districts, but they'll be all one kind of continuous pedestrian area. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. That's my reasoning behind it. But, of course, to link the two together, we're going to have a tram line running between the two, and I'm hoping to use some uh, toggleable traffic lights, those timed traffic lights, to basically say that when the tram is coming through, that's when people walk. Not every time, obviously, but they're going to go green at the same time, hopefully, and that should create a nice smooth transition for everyone moving over and the car stopping without disrupting too much. So, um, yeah, with all that said, we can just take a quick look at the financial district, which is growing nicely, although it's a little chaotic. I was saying that it's kind of, um, it's going through a bit of an awkward phase. It's in its teenage years. It's rebelling against the system as we have many abandoned buildings. And the reason for that is simply that some of these buildings are requiring over a thousand employees, some of them 1200 employees. And of course we don't have the room for that. So what I'm going to do is just zone it all, let them grow, let them go through this awkward phase, let them rebel, do whatever they got to do. And then eventually as we get more and more people, they will rebuild and they'll fill up correctly. I'm not too worried about the negative to city value or anything like that, land value from the eyesore that these buildings are going to bring with them. I'd rather just for sake of ease, zone it, forget it, get back to it then when we need to adjust it. All right, so one other small thing I've done is I've cleaned up the zoning in this place because this road that I built previously wasn't quite like a right angle towards the streets over here. So it was playing havoc with how I wanted to do the layout. But I think I've got a good layout figured out now. So let's get started with it. So if you remember in the previous episode, I had just unlocked a new plaza that actually is like an underground plaza. I just want to see, is this going to work properly? Let's start here, actually. Can I just start? There we go. See, I'm a bit worried that if we snap into there, we'll lose our district. Well, let's just see. No, the zone's fine. Okay, I was just worried I would lose the zoning or we'd go all crooked or something, but it's all good. Anyway, we got this sunken underground plaza, which I think looks awesome. So I'm going to be building it right here, this big centerpiece to the area, which is going to be in front of the hotels that we built. So I just think it works here. Could put it somewhere else, but as... Well, we'll see. Let's have a look at it, rather than just talking about it. So underground... There she is. The Underground Garden Plaza. Ploppable, unique building, 12 by 12. A large, stylish plaza featuring underground spaces with small gardens and a fountain in the center. Very great for decorating a financial district. So it is going to be a kind of a hybrid... We kind of have it as it pushes into our pedestrian area where residences are going to be, but it's very much a financial building. Now let's just place it, I think, right about here. I'm going to just start moving it up slightly. So maybe we'll turn on zoning for this. And I think we're going to need to move it up three spaces. So it's going to be hard to kind of see this, but I think about there. Does that give us three on the end? It seems like it just about does, just barely. Yeah, and it's a little, um, I don't know why it does this, but it's keeping the paving there for some reason, but it's not really there. We'll cover that in a moment. So there we go. We have this nice big center point. I'll probably change the paving as well to something like sandstone going around it or sandstone on top of it to make it look like separate smaller pathways. That could be kind of cool. All right, so just to speed things up a bit now, let's, I'm going to build out a pedestrian pathway going all the way around it. 
which I know might seem crazy, but I think it'd look good. And then we'll link these into each other. I'm gonna have to use a little anarchy for that one because it's quite a short distance. Same. Oh no, this one actually doesn't need it, surprisingly. So there we go. Giant plaza. And what's gonna go around it? Trees, I guess. I mean, when in doubt, plant some trees to cover up the mistakes that you make in life. So let's go with. 10 is actually reasonable. Ah, uh, it's a bit too short. Let's go 14. As spacing. Just hit enter to make sure that worked. There we go. Yeah, starting with the inside and working our way out. The smallest side first. Nice. And then we can bring it out this way. Good. And same mode up here. Sweet. Yeah, it actually looks quite good. And it fits on the roads and everything. And people are already walking through here, which is nice to see. Where are you going? Holly Hunter, a low wealth adult sightseeing. Low wealth and you're having the time of your life. You should be in the in the offices working, slaving away in a, some tiny cubicle, entering ones and zeros into a computer. What is she doing with her life? Um, let's go with commerce, I guess. Along here, don't see why not. And then maybe on this side we'll do offices. Let's bring this in. Zone the whole thing. So, yeah, obviously we've got no demand for offices right now because we just put down so many. So we could do all commerce, I guess. What do the hotels need? A bit of everything, right? They need some offices and they need more commerce. So commerce will pop up here and that's really close to the offices. Oh, sorry, really close to the hotel. So they should be fine. We've got commerce there as well. Yeah, some of them are abandoned, obviously. And when they grow in properly, I think it'll be fine. All right, we'll leave it blank, but we know that what's going to go there. Offices and commerce, probably a mixing of the two. And then down here is where we're going to start our residential capabilities. All right, just the, just the music. All right, so to get us started with this, I think I'm going to continue that road down. Keep alongside here. Hopefully we don't overlap anything. And actually, this would be nice. Maybe we'll just bring it right out to the edge as a sort of like, yeah, you can go across there. Now, obviously, the crossing point is here. Maybe we could push it back. Wouldn't be against it. Would not be against it. Don't want to do it while the trams are on running right now. What do we got for zoning here? Looks good. No crooked zoning. Happy to see it. You don't know, like, behind the scenes, just trying to figure out a layout for this place. Everything was crooked, man. Like, it was just so broken. So I'm actually going with a slightly different layout. But now that I've built right angles in, it just seems a bit better for filling up the spaces and that's all my fault you know it's all because when you start shifting things over a little bit then you kind of break up your zones or if you're following the terrain i guess that can happen as well which is fair enough okay so what do we got next um the actual housing we're gonna go with the wall-to-wall -wall housing so i was thinking having a look at the wall-to-wall -wall we have over in victoria square i feel like they look best they take, seem to take up a three by three most of them and they'll say that they go out further at the back, but they don't really need to. They're using the same model either way. So 3x3 three three is what I want with a pathway going in between them. Uh, so to make that happen, and the demand for residence, residential is huge right now. I'm going to build a road with all this in mind. Not that road. Let's get this one. And we're going to go... So that's 3, then there's a gap, then 3, and then a the gap. So this is where we're going to bring it down. And again, not sure how far just yet, so we'll just bring it way down. And then we'll figure it out as we go. So, how far down do we need to go now? I don't really know. Let's go with a park. Friendly neighborhood park. Which looks quite nice, but... Let me just see for a second. I was thinking of this big one, is it? The large... No, not the playground. This one? Small... That's the one. Small park. Just a standard small park. Pop it there. And then another one's going to go across from it. Now, I might change that. I just to really get an idea for size. So how many um, grids is that? It's three, six, seven, eight. It's eight by nine, it seems. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there? I think. Let's just bring this forward for a second and see. 
All right, we'll just copy this one over. No, I went a little too far. Okay. All right, copy that, just place it there. So like I said, this is just to gauge a bit of spacing. I'll probably make my own park in here, but we can leave it at this, like this for now, it's totally fine. Uh, I'll bring this up and connect it in. So, because that's there, I think then just to cut across this way probably makes sense. Just kind of thinking on the fly here. I'm thinking school and like, um, yeah, actually, we could probably use these new schools that we got, right? That's what I was saying in the previous episode. After getting a couple of extra mods that have new unique school buildings. So let's go with those. And a library. I think this would all fit, actually, thinking about it. If we get this and bring it down. Again, not sure how far, but I think a library fits in there, if I remember correctly. I think it's nine uh, across. Let me just brighten up the day, because it's going to get quite dark. All right. Uh, so school, library. This is the one, the public library. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just love it when it fits perfectly. It's so good. What a nice building, huh? I wonder, does it say anything? In this is why the mod authors should always include these things in the description. Yeah, no description, but shout out to this one. Public library. You'll recognize it in the Steam Workshop if you see this photo. Nice looking building. Has extreme range, but I'm just using it because I like the actual uh, variation. The variety of it more than anything um all right so what else could we go with let's go with uh, facilities for next to the school first so we'll do something like a soccer and oh, sorry not bad tennis and basketball yeah Trying to think what's going to go in there, and do we need pathways? Probably little pathways to cut through would be nice. So let's bring bring in the big school now. And bring it right up to the edge. Why not? Something like that. Again, another beautiful building. Love the look of this one. I'll just really quickly, just so you can get better lighting on it, just show you from the front here. I just think it looks really nice. It's a high school. 2,200 students. I gotta be honest, that seems really high. Should we adjust that? Uh, what was this high school? That's 2,800. What was this one? 2,200. Now, it is wider than that one, to be fair. But it's obviously not nearly as tall. It's got three floors. Four floors. We have another one somewhere around this way. <laughs> kind of can't really remember where it is. Oh, there it is. That's got 1,560. Hmm, it does look like it would be more compact, but I'm going to be somewhat generous to myself. I'll say, s let's say 1800, right? I'm still bringing it down. 1800, I think that's a fair number. 1800 students capacity. All right, so we'll pop it back where it was. And then what I'm thinking is, let's bring this road back further out. Can this just connect in? Hmm, something doesn't seem right here. Yeah, let's try that. I'm not sure about down here just yet, but I wanna focus on this area. So I saw like a soccer field that looks really nice. It's a content creator pack, I think. This is this one. I think it's just this one. Small soccer field. Can't put it in sideways. Could put it in this way, though. That leaves us a little gap that maybe we could put a pathway in. So just connect it. I guess it comes built in with it. Or it comes packing a pathway anyway. Okay. Right, so what we'll need as well is little elementary schools. Gonna use the new ones I got as well. It's 
these ones. So I'm going to do what I've done before, which is build two of them, because they're probably not going to be big enough to really supply that many people. So I guess something like this, and then the path to come all the way in. That's cute. What are, how many in this? 620 and 620. So that's 1240. And how many was the high school? 1800. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. This path could come all the way up then and connect up here. That kind of works. Maybe we'll put some trees in or something. Um, all right. I'll leave space here for some sort of park. All right, so after some fine tweaking and adjustments, I've used Bob to basically... Oops. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I've used Bob to basically hide some of the trees that were sticking out because it comes over just just slightly. So I'm being a little, a little cheeky with it. But uh, yeah, some of the trees that were just coming out, I just got just, just hid them, just got rid of those ones. Uh, this one's like right on the path. Maybe it could also get rid of that one. Let's see if we can have a look at it real quickly. I'm not too happy with that. Uh, so let's see. I want to go for the individuals. Now, a nice thing actually is using Bob, you can just set the offset to be different. So I'm just pushing this tree in. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Can't get me on that. And maybe this one as well. Just that one that's on the very end there. So again, we have to look at all individual trees and then we just have to find it. Find which one is highlighted. There she is. And then we'll just go... Yeah, see you later. Just get in there. <laughs> All right, it's as easy as that. Don't worry about it. All right. Feeling good, looking good, smelling good. All right, and they've got their little soccer pitch. The reason I wanted to do a soccer pitch is because they're across from the big stadium, you know. It's all the kids have. It's all they have to look up to. These hopes and dreams of one day making it to the stadium. So that should keep them happy. <laughs> All right, so this is what we got so far. I just added a little bit of extra detail there, just some tiles to come out of the back of the school and the sides, some trees, that sort of thing. I've just laid the pipes as well now for water. And actually, I haven't checked it in a while. S Ooh. Sewage and garbage processing is getting kind of low. Um, yeah, so before that becomes a real problem, let's maybe just try to tackle that right now. So for garbage and industry, a building I was looking at that I thought would be kind of cool, the waste transfer facility. Waste Transfer Facility uses garbage trucks to collect and temporarily store the garbage. Stored waste can then be picked up by waste transfer trucks from waste processing complex. The building pollutes less. So let's throw that in here. It fits really nicely right here. Just a little bit of anarchy again. I'm getting very liberal with this, I guess, but um, I think it's within a reasonable degree most of the time. Let's maybe just shift it forward slightly uh, with the Move It tool. Get that fence right right out from the other that building. Um, so yeah, so that is now going to send out a fleet of garbage trucks to collect what's around us. But then it has to go to the processing facility, right? So is this it? Yeah, the processing complex. It actually generates a little bit of power. Now, the where I'd planned to build this was all the way over down this way. It's pretty far out there, though. Holy crap, it's a big building. It doesn't actually even fit in here. Pollute the water. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just stick it down here for now. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So I don't know when it actually delivers stuff out to there. I guess if we could just to test it and see. So we'll just extend this out. Connect up our power. And then sewage treatment's the next thing. So there was a building I've been meaning to build over this way. So a lot of our inland water treatment plants are there. There was one I never built, which was the Advanced Eco Inland. This one. So I'll just throw that down here as well. Why not? Hook up the pipes. Bada bing, bada boom. And that should extend over as well. Looks cool. Yeah, so we built the small one. Eco Inland Water Treatment, but not the large one. So it's kind of cool. I think having the variety of them together just makes the place look a little bit more interesting. But yeah. All right, let's let time continue. Make our way back over to the abandoned recession district. 
What's the unemployment at now, out of curiosity? 5%, so yeah. Still people without jobs. All right, so let's get some fresh people in. Uh, so the plan was to build a pathway between these two areas. So we'll just get the standard path here. Maybe, can I turn off the grid? Just snapping to the wrong thing. Something like that. Could change how those trees look. And then what we'll do is just paste, paint a new district right there. King Heights. And we'll give the district the wall-to-wall -wall setting. By the way, that came auto-built with the recreational use district. And that's because I never realized it before. But if you play, uh, pre plec, press city information, you can actually set city-wide policies that apply to every district. Didn't know that. Quite a cool, nice thing to do. So I've just done that for recreational use because... That's the way it should be, and don't don't want to hear nothing about it, okay? <laughs> anyway, let's uh, give these guys their zoning. High density or low density, I don't think it matters when they're wall-to-wall -wall buildings anyway. I wonder, actually, would it look good having wall-to-wall -wall commerce on this side? That might be kind of nice. Never, I don't think I've ever done that before. Let's try that. This can all be one district, right? Does it matter? Let's see. King Heights. Yeah, I don't think I've done that. I'll just double check. But down here at Victoria Square. No. I have something running though. What is this? Tax raise for high density commercial. Oh, I wonder is that why they never grew bigger than a certain size? Probably not, but it is kind of interesting. I didn't do that on purpose. Like none of the skyscrapers were built here. Anyways, let time play. We'll see how this all shakes out. So this is going to be our first little area. And like I mentioned in the previous episode, you can grab a standard tree here, click this road, and we get the nice trees on that one then. But we might make them a bit smaller. That's just a nice way to test it out. Tree with leaves too, I think is a pretty good size. On a slight hill as well. Not a big deal. Anyway, the plan was just to continue this all the way down. I'm not sure how far we should go. Yeah, just, I don't know. Don't know how far we should go. I guess let's just continue building out this way. So we'll grab this pathway, connect it from here to here. Let people cut across behind the library if they want to. And then what? Maybe we could do this. Let's do this. It does leave us with an empty gap in there. I don't really mind that. We could just put some trees and make it look like a little uh, seating area for the library or something, an outdoors area, some food trucks or something. But there. Alright. So again, same thing. Wall to wall out of our goddamn minds. So we'll continue this cut through. And we'll make a new cut through here, shall we? Should we do that? Actually, this yeah, th there's still some things I haven't really thought about. So what about we could use the new medical building I have. The local clinic. It is small. But if we pop it in there, I think I could fit the yoga, yoga garden even next to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, cool. And then let's get this. We'll bring this right across and then connect it on both sides. Now, I liked the trees that we're using there. What was it? It was tree number two or something. Yeah, yeah. All right. Zone me up. And that's a buffer between these two. That's why I thought, like, oh, some, some sort of facility would be good there. So that's a tiny little medical clinic. A local clinic just for this area. 2x4 minimal range clinic. It'll provide your citizens with basic health care services. So, I mean, 60 patients is, is really nothing. But um, something I've just found with... Uh, I guess it's probably due to the realistic population mod. Hang on. What date is it? Three months to go. I was just wondering why so much traffic seems to be coming in. Oh, they're leaving. Well, it looks like they need... Uh, yeah, those two lanes are both taking a left. I was going to say, it looks like they need more time on their light, perhaps. How much time do they have? Yeah, so let's just hit stop. The minimum time is 15. Let's make that 20. 
hit start. We'll just let it play on this one again to give them more chance to get out. All right, anyway. Um, yeah, I was thinking maybe the uh, stadium event was on, but it's not on for a few months. And what was I mentioning? Oh, yeah, just in looking at certain buildings, I've noticed that our healthcare just never seems to really get used. Eight patients out of 500. Patients treated last week, zero. Ambulances in use, zero. This is the same with police. It was the same with fire. I think there might be some adjustments in the mod that make because it, it tries to overcompensate probably how little you need. Because, you know, if you're going to inflate the population numbers massively, it probably thought like, okay, well, we'll lower the amount of people that get sick. I'm guessing. But it seems to have overshot it. I don't know if there's a setting to adjust that, but I would use it if I could because it just seems like a lot of our services aren't really needed. Crime and fire is the ones I see getting used the most, but healthcare and even death care to an extent, not so much. That being said, this place is actually full. Let's empty that one out. That's cemetery. That was just something on my mind for a while. Uh, so let's... Cemetery usage. Employment percentage, 94. So we're at 6% unemployment. And how's traffic, generally speaking? 73. Yeah, it's getting taking a few hits around this area. Although I would imagine it's just a lot of people, new people moving in as well. Uh, so something we could do now is set up that route, that tram route that we hadn't built yet. And also just let's fill in these areas here. Nice. So yeah, we're getting these nice little buildings popping in. So mid-tier mid density, not quite that big. I don't know if it's strange to have that in this area. You know, because there's obviously so many big buildings here, but I think it's more, it's kind of natural that maybe this would be a bit of a dip. We'll have some leisure tourism style, style buildings here. What well, leisure, really? Um, nightlife and things like that. And then maybe as we build back out to this area, you can get a bit bigger again. Because the plan was to have a campus around this area somewhere. Uh, something I'm just going to do as a test while you guys are here, we're just going to build an airport. Let's just build one of the standard airports. Just totally temporary, okay? It's more just a test than anything. So, airport right there. And we'll see if we see planes flying in. Because I'd mentioned it in the previous episode, the flight path is right here. So, connecting in a little airport there and people moving into the city, we should see people using it, right? You'd think. Um, so, it's, it's temporary. It's not final placements. Just to see, does it work? That's all. Oh, there, we've got a plane right now. That w Even that wasn't something I had before. So, that's good to see. And then, I guess we could just give you a little bus route. Just a very sh quick bus route. Uh, so we've got an intercity bus station terminal there. Create a new line to here. And then I don't really care how long it is. Just go back and then back in there. That's fine. All right. And that should have power now. So that's just the default airport. There is also the airport DLC. So I've never used it before. But I'll learn it a little bit and then start playing around with it in the next one. What I thought I'd build this for is I want to ask you guys, where should the airport go? <laughs> you could build it here on the edge and you fly out over the water or something. Or obviously the map came kind of pre-built with a lane or um, why can't I think a runway? <laughs> Couldn't think of what that was called. Now that's just totally random. You could just delete it, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything until we build something there. But you could have, you could say like, yeah, the airport should be on the other side of the city. Uh, of the highway. I don't know. I really don't know. I almost thought that this place here inside of Crown Farms would be like a good area for people to kind of get onto either the highway or onto our sort of main road leading in. So th I'd say there's three options. You've got the one in the very north which I've just built now as a maybe. You've got one in between the Crown Farms and the highway or you've got one that's just on the far outside reaches of the city. Each has their own benefits and drawbacks the further out you go you know it's a bigger upheaval to bring people in via the train for instance or you could have some sort of monorail maybe it's quite a long distance for a monorail what else could you have i mean that would really be it i think so the ones that are close by obviously they, maybe just a little bus could take you in not too sure getting ready for our first flight here a few trees in the way of the runway there but uh you'll be fine Whoa. Immediately banking to the right. But taking off successfully all the same. <laughs> so it's good to see that it works. We'll see if people come in this way. Why not? And do we see any planes in the air? 
Just see the one that just took off now. Go into the. It looks like a sunset, really. How beautiful is that? There's something very cozy about nighttime flights to me. I don't know why. Um, let me just change that music very quickly. It was actually just about to change anyway itself. All right. Okay, let's check on how our place has been building up. It seems to be coming into its own, doing well for itself. Although one thing I'm a little unhappy about is buildings like this. I'd rather they face out to the street this way. I could, I guess, just manually turn them. Right? Once it flashes green, you know we're safe, I think. So yeah, maybe I'll go over that on my own in the future. But I'd rather they be out here. I think it just looks a bit better. It's a nice building, though. Oh, and that's the wall-to-wall. -wall. Yeah, wow, that actually looks really nice. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> they look pretty good. Yeah, I want more like this. This is perfect for the area, because it looks like it's kind of accessible to both sides. Whereas this one is more just like, yeah, it's kind of more clear that it's for one side only. To an extent. Now, these buildings can still upgrade and change their look a little bit, look and feel. For the most part, this is probably going to be how they look. Got the public library doing its job. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to do. All right, so let's see what these guys are really missing. They need more office and business. Same with these guys. So those two hotels could do it more. This whole place has been abandoned, but it'll get filled in. 88%. That's pretty good. 64 not so good. Just raise the prices anyway. Now, can we make more money on the banks? Let's see. I'm seeing a lot of negatives, which is good if you want to invest, generally. Traffic Jelly Logistics. Yeah, let's maybe go all the way until we get the, um, the next sporting event happening. Greasy Gasoline. It's peaking, but it's going to come down. Yeah, I still have it written down from the previous episode that we wanted to hit 4,500 4, or go below 5,000 at least. All right, so we've got some traffic backing up here. It's from a lot of the cargo coming out of this area. That was expected. It's going to be busy, especially for the first time deliveries for a lot of these shops opening up. Ah, but there's another problem here, which is too many people parking. Use the d dedicated parking bays, please. How are we looking for the airport? Oh yeah, I don't know how many buses came out for that airport route, but we could check. Uh, I guess we'll check up here. So I'll just call it airport and just color it like something distinct purple like the uh, plane pathways. Now it's bringing out 12. That's obviously way too many. We'll just say 8. But it's a long route because we told it to go around a really super long way. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing if a plane comes in and then we see people coming out. And uh, just for fun, let's just get rid of some of the trees that were next to this area. A little dangerous. A bit better. The fact that one took off makes me feel like it'll be okay and more will come in. Like I said, it did seem to fix itself. Did I mention that this episode? I think I did, right? That it does seem to be fixed. I think I probably mentioned it in the last one, actually. But we'll see. Alright, I'll just leave it there. I mean, that was kind of... I don't know. I don't really know what to do in this bottom half because we're across from the train station then. So I just kind of wanted to feel out how the traffic's all going to handle itself. Now, things are obviously very busy because the match is in like a month, basically in six weeks. So people are flooding in. A lot of, a lot of vehicles are trying to get out from the uh, cargo terminal. That seems to be the main reason for traffic here. A lot of people arriving into the train station. So look at all these people coming out. All these cars. Yeah. Match day does do this. Uh, perhaps it would be wise to turn on the free... Let's increase that ticket price all the way to 40. There's 510 just moved to come in uh, as guests now. Another 240 left to go. We'll make public transport free to them. Maybe they'll take our metro line. By the way, I forgot to mention, I'm using the new metro 
that I have from the mods here. Looks much better, I think. Oh yeah, and all our buildings are now the same size. Little uniform, I guess. But still kind of, kind of nice. Yeah, there's commerce, commerce buildings here. Not enough people, man. I guess we just need more and more people, but... Yeah, we're waiting for the, some of them to fill up. Alright, let's just expand it even further then. And bring this down further. Alright. Are they still wall-to-wall? -wall? They are indeed. So, let's see if we can um, move this up a bit. I think that's nice. This obviously makes the junction a bit strange, but... I suppose... Uh, I don't really... I was gonna say, if I evened it out on this side, it would make more sense. Let's, uh... Spring forward a little bit. Just to the edge there, so people still do come down and turn a bit as they go into it. Hopefully they do use this correctly. I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, I feel like the tra the traffic coming out from this way, the timed light should probably be a bit longer on this side, right? Because there's always going to be more coming out on the right, I think. So maybe that's um, part of the solution. But I guess traffic's just not that busy. It just depends when deliveries are made. And then it can get backed up. I've got people coming in this way. Wow, this is pretty busy. They're all trying to cross over. So these two lanes are to turn right, and these two are to go straight. Well, we could... Help them make that decision a little earlier by saying, by doing this. And that way you're saying, like, no one's allowed to make these last minute changes here. You could do it further down, though. You see, it's a volume thing. They need more time and these guys need less time, whatever the timer is on the uh, lights. So we'll leave that at 10 and 15. Uh, leave that at 10 and 15, but maybe change the other ones. I know, like, the rules are so that it's supposed to understand when the other lanes are busy, but I can't ever seem to get that to work properly. Yeah, so let's do 5 and 10 for the other sides. They've also got more lanes coming in, which is why they can be so busy. Well, actually, it's kind of surprising that even with those extra lanes, they are so busy, but that was the idea. They needed 4 on this side and 3 going out, because way more people are coming in all the time. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. More reasonable time there, I think. Yeah, that should smoothen it out, I think. They're all making their last minute decisions of lane changes now, though, because they're not allowed to do it any earlier. In fact, that's a bit messed up because the way they're doing it. I think it'll balance out, though, soon. It's just that when they're trying to take a, such a direct turn, he's trying to cross four lanes there. You better plan these things out, guys. I could make it really strict where it's like you just cannot change lane. But that'd be a bit unfair. Yeah, this isn't looking good, is it? Maybe I should have left it. But you, you get the same problem. You just get it down there, though. All right, maybe it'll work itself out. Okay, we'll just leave it for a bit. Look back, and if it's still a problem in the future, then we'll come back to it. So what's your problem? Not enough goods to sell? Not enough educated workers, really. You need more educated and well-educated. Uh, that's another thing we could do policy-wise, is increase their... Tell them to be educated. That should help. King Heights. Oh no. I'm really happy. This area came together actually quite snugly. Um, yeah, I just want to make some more residential... Or just make some more places for people to live and houses. So... Let's try something a bit different with this group. We'll go down this way. And we'll leave them the... I don't know, actually, if that will work. Yeah, okay, okay. Have to come down here, actually, then, yeah. I think. I'm trying to basically... What I'm thinking to myself, I'm not explaining it well at all, because I'm just in the process of thinking about it, but I want these pathways to sort of like almost be in front of the houses, but of course you can't do that. Now we could change some of the roads, in fact I'd like to do that. So this music is actually making me lose my mind, so let's gonna change it for a minute. There we go. 
All right. So yeah, got an idea. So what we'll do is maybe change them to bluestone rather than sandstone. Oh my days! There we go. We have a plane coming in. I wouldn't like living underneath there. Two hundred passengers coming in hot. Anyone a fan of Flight Simulator? I really like the game, but I just do, do not have the time to like really invest into it. I've been playing a lot of SnowRunner recently as well. Really big fan of that game. They just announced the sequel, well, not sequel, but the next kind of in the franchise overall, as it were. It's called Expeditions Mud Runner or something, I think. Expeditions is the name of the game anyway. And it's less about the heavy trucks. It's more about scouting and exploring. I would love to be able to play that. It depends if people would like to watch me do that or not. But the problem with those games, for me at least, would be what do you talk about? You know, if you're stuck in the mud for ages, there's just not much going on to talk about. So I was thinking of doing live streams with them because then, you know, you get people who just chat with you and you just interact with them and you do a few missions. It's either that or you do make videos out of it, but I will just cut them heavily. So it's like, okay, hit record, start driving from point A to point B, doing whatever the task is. And then just obviously edit out the bits where nothing interesting happened. But if there was like an interesting, like almost toppled over or making decisions or talking through something those would be the times where you could like then pick up on it a lot of people waiting here they, they got to get to the game they don't have much time so obviously this is just totally temporary right this is just totally temporary but what you would do is build in a proper airport area they come with bus terminals built in metro service even uh monorail or whatever so we'd have lots of transport options and definitely ways for the uh, buses not to have to go i don't know where they're going but they probably go all the way down here turn and come back up don't they yeah so that is not ideal Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Let's just hook that up as well. So I just thought I'd mention that's obviously temporary. Do not comment on that. Always when I tell people, it's like, this is temporary. People are like, oh, you shouldn't do that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, guys, it's just it was just an illustrated point. What is this? Oh, I thought it was Aer Lingus for a minute coming in. Another 200 just flying straight in. God damn. Oh yeah, and then cars are coming out of that area too. Well, it's great to see that it's working. I was terrified for a long time when it seemed to not be. Uh, right, let's just continue this last bit up before we wrap up today. So, I was going to do the blue stone on certain areas. So, to delineate the sort of pedestrian or the residential area from the more commercial area, we'll leave the sandstone for that, but the blue stone for the more like residential. And of course, we could then maybe have a look at. Jeez, <laughs> play just circling. I guess they also have to wait for the runways to be clear, don't they? So they will circle around. We've got EasyJet coming in now. That's what it looks like. Another 200, wow. I wonder how many is waiting there. Just a casual 345. Well, lots of buses on the way, though. Uh, rows of three or four are coming up now. See, they took a long time to get here. They had to come from all the way over where our biofuel bus depot is, so it just took a long time to get here. Cool. All right. When's that match day? It's happening in a moment, isn't it? Did it? Oh, it's happening right now. We got 634. High ticket prices, man. Kind of kept some of them away. And perhaps the time it took to get in from the airport took them too long as well. 96% full? Wow. Holy crap. That was fast. For the waste transfer facility. So what's the deal now? They're all going to drive out and head towards the waste complex, isn't it? Isn't that the idea? I think so. All right, anyways, I keep getting distracted from this. But the idea was that in certain places, we'd have trees or little bits of grass and things. So... I feel like the the trees in between are good for commercial areas. Trees on the sides are good for residential areas. Uh, and then break it up every now and then with just the grass bits. So let's try that. So we'll try the bluestone variant. Maybe just the grass bits going through these sides. Something like that. And then... Hmm. A 
I feel like there's already quite a lot of trees around here, but we could go with this one and this one and then down the line here. Wrong one. Yeah, to kind of break things up a bit. That can look quite nice. So then just even here, I think some grass on either side would be nice. Freshly mowed lawn. Cool. Red sky at night. It's nice to see so many people coming in, all wearing our, our colors. They could probably do the light there to let them make those decisions a bit better. I've noticed this. Do you see? Oh, is it because of the cyclists? Uh, that could be why. I was going to say, whoa, are they all cycling? Yeah, they are. I was going to say, I've noticed that these cars will stop before crossing a lot, even though it's like completely clear. Like, you're totally free. Well, now you're not, obviously, but... Yeah, they need a light, obviously, to guide that. It's too... Uh, backs up too much if you don't have it. So who won the game? Still waiting for it to end. Usually ends a month after, so we'll wait till... I think it's like the 4th of April or something, and then we'll see. How's the financial district doing? Mm, some of the buildings have come back, but they're still lacking, obviously, workforce. So it's just a matter of time. We just got to educate people. How's the schools doing? So we've got 1,300 students out of 1,800 there, and the elementary schools, 466 and 475. So they're at about 60-70% capacity, I think. Grow the city. Yeah, I know. More and more people want to move in, right? Uh... Okay. Nope, not like that. Hey, that it always wants to do it on the edge of the grid rather than the middle of it. So we want to come down to about there. Break across that way. Break across this way. Uh, I guess you'll have to go the whole way, actually. And we'll bring this all the way up. I'll just create the odd slip through. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. So about there. Let people cut through a bit. And that should be kind of make it a bit more interesting. And same with this place. So this place is abandoned already. Oh, the building I liked is gone. So yeah, because this comes out this way, this is a perfect spot to have a thing going through. And I, I'm okay to go through the middle of that grid because it's central to that road. Um, I would probably do the same somewhere here. Oh, because Anarchy was on the building didn't get removed. There we go. Looking good. So, because I'm just basically killing time here now, before I decide how the rest of this place is going to look, um, we'll have a little walk around, shall we? Or get down on the ground and see a bit more things in, de in depth. People have asked for that, so hopefully you don't mind. But if it's at the end of the episode anyway, feel free to leave if you don't want to see that stuff. Now I'm only joking. Uh, by the way, appreciate all the support on these episodes. Really does... I mean, it's just been overwhelming and, and quite fantastic, so really do appreciate that. I'm looking forward to City Skylines too, of course. But I won't be one of the content creators that gets things early. So um, seeing that the other content creators are going to get it six to seven weeks before it comes out, I think, is uh, it's great for them. But my God, that's a massive setback for me. So that that sucks in, in my, you know, for me, from my perspective. You're like, oh, because obviously I'm sure people will still hang around and watch a series if I do one a little bit. But you just forfeit so much, and you also fall behind everyone else. You know, a lot of other creators are now going to be proficient at the game by the time I even just get my hands on it. So that's a shame. Uh, it's it's kind of str I knew that it'd be a few weeks early, but it's really surprising. I think September eighth is like the embargo for it. So really surprising how much they've um how much lead time they got. It's like the game is done or something already. Uh, just do that. They weren't wall to wall buildings, so we'll just get rid of them before they properly pop in. 
Uh, but yeah, I don't mean to sound salty or anything. I actually am quite happy, and it's great that content creators can get things so early, I think, because then you guys just get to see the game in full way earlier. Uh, so it's generally an everybody kind of wins situation. But uh, just being a little selfish, it's like, ah, oh, that's, that's, that's going to hurt, you know, so many people having it so early for so long. Uh, and uh, yeah, for those who don't know, Paradox, I'm not on their best, uh, I'm not on their good terms, so that, that's why. It's a long story, but it's from several years ago, a broken embargo for Imperator Rome, and uh, yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't on purpose, not really, anyway. Um, and I I've reached out and stuff, but just, they, yeah, it's, it, goes, it goes deeper than that. It's like a really long, complicated thing. Although, who knows, I don't do reviews anymore, I don't really do opinionated content, so there's really no loss anymore, but I think it's just a, an old grudge that some people hold. What just happened? Oh, we won! We won! Hey! Nice, we made slightly less money though on the ticket sales, did we? Oh, no, 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 we made slightly more! Yeah, yeah, sorry, this is the one that's recent on top. Sweet. Made slightly more money even though we had less people in attendance, and we won more money initially. Interesting. So there you go. So that's going to, all those tourists are going to leave now, hopefully decluttering our roads for a bit. We'll keep an eye on it though to see if it continues to stay this busy. Oh, very last thing. I never set up that tram route to go between this area. So let's do that. Got a little time here at the end. So we'll just start it here. Should we start down here or here? I think across from the plaza would be nice. And then across from this plaza as well, basically. And then it can just come out to... I don't see why not. Make a little stop there. Make another stop there. And then the stop that I have for outside the train station is really here. Oh, yeah, I had to move it forward earlier, but yeah, really here is where I want people getting on and getting off. Not here, because we know it's so busy already. Uh, yeah, so then you just loop back around, right? That's it. Simple. So we'll give them the high capacity trams. We'll give them a nice different color for their area. Maybe yellow? We don't really use that for trams. And we'll call this the... So what was that district? It's called the King Route. Well, actually, I'll call it Pedestrian Route because... Uh, it's going between two pedestrian lines. Or areas. All right, so they should start rolling out now. There we go, the first yellow one. Let's just uh, change the color of that slightly. Can we get brighter, a brighter yellow than that. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's almost orange or gold. So. The other thing then would be to merge these two lines because they're right next to each other at this point. So bring that back a bit. Same stop for both. Don't like seeing cars getting generated out here. I don't know why that's happening, but... Uh, anyway, the last thing then would be giving them a pedestrian crossing thing. Oof. Traffic's getting a little nasty now. Yeah, so a time traffic light here would be the last thing to do. So set up a time traffic light. Deselect all notes. Just this one, please. Yeah. So we'll make these manual. Can we do that? Oh, apparently not. Oh, I have to go add step first. There we go. So manual, 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 manual. So that'll be the first one. It's like, yep. You guys can go, but also you can go. So I guess the side-to-side -side ones can't. In fact, we'll probably just get rid of those. They don't really need to be there. So I'll just hit add and click out of that for a second. So let's click this, click this, click this. So you do not need a crossing there, in my opinion, and not there. Because you could just kind of do that anyway, right? Actually, we'll leave it there. <laughs> Sorry to be so um, indecisive, but I'm just going to hide it visually. Because then people will walk that way, but not really uh, get in the way of things too much. So... So the visuals of it are gone. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna commit to it though. 
Okay, so trams are allowed to go through, which means you're not allowed to walk side to side, which makes sense. Uh, but the people are allowed to walk as well, so that's totally fine. So we'll give them a, a decent amount of lead time on that, instead of just the really short time we normally do. So 6 and 12. And then add another step, which is to say that every, the cars can now go, the trams cannot go, the people can go left to right, but they cannot go up and down. And we'll leave this on much longer. I would say this can be... I'd say at least 18 seconds. I'll do 22 or something, I don't know. Hit start with that, let's see how we get on. Now, I don't know why a tram would ever have done that. What tram is turning... Oh, he's going back home because it's the wrong type. That's why. Okay, that's fine. I was going to say, there's no line that takes you that way. Alright, so this is the wait time. This is how long they have to wait now as it's building up. And the tram is going to have to wait with them. Someone's tying their shoes on the edge. They're ready to run. There we go. Yeah, that's totally fine, right? I don't see anything wrong with that. And then everyone's continuing again. People are still joining from here onto the cycle lanes and everything, so that's all good. All good. Nice. I think that's going to have to be it. Did we fill these places? It's 14 out of 16, 12 out of 15, 6 out of 7. So they're filling, but they're not full yet, and they have to still grow. Educate more citizens to grow further. And then we want to fill in these little empty patches with some things that look like little amenities or little trees and little mini parks or something. And then we know that we're going to have more offices and commercial zones up that way. So yeah, that's going to be it. Pretty happy with the expansion. I think it looks good. A little low, low resident, not nearly as big and dense as these ones anymore. But uh, yeah, goddamn the abandoned. Uh, oh my god, it looks so bad. Well, it's it, we're making progress. Anyway, next episode, we're going to do planes. You guys are really going to have to tell me where the plane's going to go. It's a little insider baseball. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, insider baseball will be that I recorded the last couple of episodes together, pretty much. But I'll be taking a mini break because I'm going to Ireland for a wedding, a family wedding. And then I'll be back. So I'll have lots of time to catch up on any comments and things and suggestions for the, last, uh, for the next few episodes as we build up this place. And then once this area is kind of filled up to about here, that's probably... You know, I, I imagine we'll get close to City Skylines 2 time. And uh, this, this, this city will be done. We'll have built kind of everything I really wanted to. Should we turn off that? There we go. I think public transport was still free there for a while. Uh, so yeah, let me know where you think the airport should go. And we'll build out that DLC style airport. Look at the train of planes that are just coming in now. Flooding in. Nice to see. I mean, I'm sure that's people moving in and tourists as well. Leaving or whatever. Alright, that's got to be it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.